Hello and good day. Welcome back to our class. This is Teacher Ona de Guzman, and our topic for today is Basic Geometric Constructions for Regular Polygons. This is for Grade 7, Quarter 3. So at the end of this math tutorial video, you can recognize terms necessary for geometric constructions and Construct Equilateral Triangle, Square, Regular Pentagon, and Regular Hexagon. So if you are new to my channel, do not forget to subscribe so that you will be notified about my new videos. Alright, for our first construction, let's construct a triangle. So the first thing that you will do is, okay, use a compass draw a circle okay so you have now your circle okay next one you will use the same opening to mark your first point okay so say for instance this is your first point okay so again so you you will use the same opening okay you have the first point then okay let's construct okay several points or arcs okay so we have one then use the same opening again to construct uh, five more two we have three Okay, let's change. So we have now three. So we will maintain the same opening. We have four. Five. And we have six. So what we're going to mark are actually the even okay uh, arcs so let's have this is one okay then skip then we have two skip again and three next is connect those points using okay color pen Okay, so yeah, now you have your triangle and do not forget to erase the pencil markings. So we have now a triangle. So let's write this one as point A and this is point B and this is point C. So take note that AB is congruent to BC. Okay? So to verify that, let's use okay, the protractor. Let's measure from this point until point A. Okay? So we have this opening. And observe that from point A to point B, we have the same length okay and also from point B to point C we have the same length also so truly so we have AB is congruent to BC also we can say that BC is congruent to AC okay so we have AB is congruent to BC then we have here BC is congruent to AC. So that's all. Alright, for our next construction, so we will construct a square. So the first thing that we will do is draw a line. Okay, from our line, we will use our compass. Okay. 
and draw a circle. So let's call this points. This is point A and this is point B. So next is we will do or we will construct a perpendicular bisector of the line segment AB. So let's open this one a little bit. Construct an arc outside uh, the circle. So what here? And we will use the same opening on point A. Okay. Then we will use this intersection, this point and this point, okay, as our perpendicular bisector, as our guide. After that, on the circle, mark the point that will intersect them. and this. So we will count this as point C, while this one is point D. Now that you have your point four points, let's connect this using our pen. the markings or the pencil markings so we have now this one all right so for the next construction we will create a regular pentagon so the first thing is again we will draw a line segment using our pencil from this line segment, using our compass, draw a circle. Alright, so we have now a circle, then after that, okay, let's mark this point. And this point also. Okay. We will construct a perpendicular bisector of this line segment. So to do that, let's open our compass a little bit wider, more than the radius, and construct an arc outside the circle. Okay. So, we will use this intersection, this point, and this in order to create a perpendicular bisector. But we need only the line. Okay, we need to, okay. Alright. So, now you have now your perpendicular bisector. Next, after this, we will create another perpendicular bisector. This time, from the center to somewhat okay let's call this one as point okay n and let's call this one as point o okay so we will create a perpendicular bisector between the line segment o n so to do that again okay let's open the compass and create an arc just outside the circle okay then let's connect these two points all right so we will call this one as point X and this one is point A. 
Alright? From point X to point A, let's measure that using our compass. Okay. So, we will use that in order to create an R starting from point X. Okay? That will pass through on this line set. So, we will call this point as point Y. Okay. Using our compass again, we will measure from point Y to point A. Okay. Then, from point A, we will okay, make an arc. So, we will call this one as point B. And we will continue the process using the same opening of your compass. Okay, so we have now the following points. So we have this. Okay, point A. Call this one as point A. Then we have point B. We have here point C. Then this is point D. And this is point E. connect using our pen. And do not forget to erase the pencil markings. So this is now your final product. So the next thing that we will have is the construction of hexagon. Again, so the first thing that we will do is construct a circle using our compass. Okay. Now choose a point. I'll say for instance, I'll choose this point. I'll mark this point. And I will use the same opening as I constructed the circle. So again, to double check. So this is my first point. Then, construct an arc. So this is my first arc. Okay. Second. Then I have third. Fourth. Then, fifth. Then, we have here for the six. Okay. So, the next, I'll put mark here. Mark the points. And connect this using pen.
then we have here connect the points again not forget to erase the pencil markings okay all right as you can see we have a drop here of your hexagon so let's call this one as point a b C, D, E, N, F. Okay, so this is our construction for hexagon.